example, this part right here is sketchy. Click, click, click. Or something like that. Now I'll grab these two. Merge it, maybe. That seems to work. Then move this part. If for whatever reason you see this, several students have recently been getting this situation, right? This is because of the soft modification tool, which is this, pressing B as in Bob by accident. See, when you press B as in Bob. I just have to mention that just in case many students have been doing that. I, I did warn them about it. Click and snap. Click. Click. you do that as you can see pretty much everything is cleaned up there's some crazy stuff going on here I mean, you could just go and click and snap that and this part right here is kind of gnarly you could just go and I don't know find a reason and it'll go click and I'll go click 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 Anyone here? Pop, 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 connect there. This relates to organic modeling. Alright, so, uh, alright, that's already been uh, quite a while. I'm, I'm, I feel lazy, so I don't want to do it anymore. And, I mean, over here too, this needs to touch up. This is nasty. Go so click, click. if you want depending on how much you want to try to clean it up but for the most part the mesh is stable the back side needs some fixing though right here you don't want to do this yeah that way the edge becomes nice and stiff Just mindless pushing like that. Boom. 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 Bam.
pays off. Very nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop there. This should overall give a solid idea of what to do. You could have this thing sped up by like, I don't know, 1.25 speed on YouTube playlist on the, on the player. Oh, look what's happening. The outer cage, right? If this ever happens, right, you wanna go press three, so you see the problem, you see the cage. Right, the little poly cage on top of the smooth. It's really annoying to work with, work with this. So if this happens and it does happen often, you want to go to mesh controls or smooth mesh and uh, right, turn this on. But the only way you can do it is to turn this off. Turn this on. Right there, see? Turn this off. And then turn this on. Right there. Good. Hopefully that all of that sinks in. I know this is a lot of stuff to absorb. But uh, yeah. And you have something really, really nice. Then you just gotta go and UV map it after. If you were to UV map it, right? Here's the mesh. First thing I want you to do is select it. Attribute editor, right? Smooth mesh. Go to open subdiv controls. Preserve it. All right, good. You have that. Good. When you do the UV snapshot, have it at level three. Not at level one, right? At level three, because this mesh is very, very different at level three when compared to level one. The curvature, in case if you want to do some specific texture painting. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, this pretty much shows everything that you know to have it come to completion. Just gotta stitch this. here like that go in grab that boom 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 and then once you're ready to UV map it right right here you're missing a spot too this guy right here right there in between this is your main transition. Supporting edge loop, supporting edge loop. That way, step and step. See, right there. So, when you're ready for it, make sure you get the UV toolkit. Pop it in. Get the UV shell. See, if you just chuck it over. Right, that's this back side. Right, see how fast you select the faces. Right, but you want to deselect this. You want to go to right click face mode, hold control, deselect, deselect, deselect. Boom. Over here. I mean, you could still grab it. But there's, I mean, it's okay to grab it. You know what? I'll just show it. So you, you grab all of this, right? This, the the UV shell, you know, already has a gives you a selection, right? Then I'm gonna go to this one. And change it to a side view, right? And I need to also grab right here. Hold Control and Shift. Hold Control and Shift. 
drag and select up to here. So you can now do a massive planar projection. See this? Control and shift. See? Now you have all the backside that you need up to here, but not here. Once you do that, right, you, you go UV, Plan R, Option Box. You're going to project it on the Z, which is blue. So it shoots this way, Z. You want to turn on Keep Image with High Ratio. All of this is inside the Word Docs, as well as the most recent videos that I made as well as uh, live lectures, apply, close, move, and I'm going to move it, bam, there you go, perfect, that's how fast you can do it. These can be still easily fixed too, all I gotta do is just cut across, as long as I don't move the individual UV dots, so that's done. Next, the front side, go to the UV shell, Grab that. Right. But I don't want to grab the inside, which is good. Right, see? Right? But I still want these. So this is a bit of a hassle. So, in the meantime, I want to grab this. I'll just rotate it a bit because it's annoying me that sideways. save. I also want to grab these. That's going to be these guys. I'm going to turn this on blue so I can see this. And I'm going to have the shell on. I have the shell mode on UV shell. See? That's going to be... Let's see which one lights up. I'm coordinating it. That's this whole chunk this come on but I don't want the whole thing this is what I'm gonna do I want to grab this entire bacon strip this whole strip I want that I'm gonna turn this off This needs its own projection. Separate. I mean, what I could do, right? I'm in this mode, side view. I can just hold Control and Shift so it selects more. Like that, see what I'm doing? Control and Shift. It, it adds to it. I'm just going to make a thin selection line. I'm going to zoom in. I want this strip, this strip right here. Hold control and shift. Hold control and shift. Hold control and shift. Hold control and shift. This part's missing, see? It's light blue. Control and shift. Hold control and shift. Carefully grabbing only that stuff. You gotta be careful about this, this right here. This is the eyeball and the other stuff getting pushed in so I'm going to go up to here see don't touch this hopefully you're still watching this I'm going to split up the video alright because this will save headache I don't know what's going on here gotta be careful this for sure I got crab over here too control shift This part looks a little sketchy, I don't know what this is. I'll leave it alone for now. For sure I gotta grab this stuff. And over here. And over here. And over here. So I got nearly everything. See, 
I'm looking at this strip of train tracks right here this is why I didn't grab hold shift and left click hold shift and double left click so I grab that missing strip right here hold shift and left click whip it around right here hold shift double left click bam so I'm grabbing the entire ooh right here I missed it hold shift left click hold shift double left click hold shift left click hold shift double left click hold shift left click hold shift double left click hold shift click so I only get what I need I think that's everything. Right. Yep. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. Boom, boom, got you. Yep. Pretty sure I got everything. Level three makes the face is fatter so I can see better versus level one. Oh right there. If I turn on default, default material makes it easier to even see better. That's why it's darker. Right, see? Yeah, I got everything I need. So this is gonna be one whole strip. One whole baking strip of uh, UVs. So from here, right, I didn't grab any of these, right? These little slotted areas, I didn't grab them. Because so I use a side view to help me select. That whole process was recorded. Anyway, so from here, do an incremental save. What I'm gonna do from here, right? These are the faces, see? Those are the ones being selected. Minus the ones that are not. These aren't selected. This means it's a uh, inverted shell that needs to be cleaned up, right? This I'm gonna show. This is called camera base selection. For this situation, it's preferable to use something called camera base. It's not hard. All I'm gonna do is from here. UV camera base selection or camera based projection whatever the camera sees is going to project at that angle well so this is what it did so it selected it see I care where I carefully methodically selected those strip right right so it did a camera based projection captured it all this information now I need to chop it up I need to find a area to kind of have a seam line probably underneath like right here right around here right there I want it right there I'm gonna turn this off right because the color I can't see so right press right here these three I'm gonna cut so I'm gonna right click edge mode right click hold shift click and cut just those that's gonna cut the strip that is right here see this shift right click on I'm, I'm gonna cut it shift right click cut within the UV editor looks like nothing happened but something did next step right I need to go back to my shell mode select the shell 